Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go down to the closest Barnes & Noble store, which is about an hour away. See if I can find some good um, Criterion Collection Blu-rays and 4Ks. I do have a few on my Barnes & Noble um, wish list that I want to pick up. So hopefully they'll have those in stock. So I just thought I'd go ahead and record my trip there. And then I will speak to you again as soon as I get to the location. So I just got back in the car from shopping. I did get over 10 titles, um, which I'll show you when I get home. But it was very nice to be able to shop in the store and to kind of browse their selections. There were a few titles that I wanted to get that I did not pick up because of some loose disc in the packaging and it was the only um, um, title that they had available. So I may just order those online. Um, but very happy with what I got. And so I will see you soon and we'll take a look at what I picked up. Okay, so I finally made it back home. Um, very hot outside, very happy to be inside the cool house. I did get my 10 titles here from Barnes & Noble. Really happy with the selections that they had at the store that I went to. I'm really happy that I was able to go and actually browse the shelves to see what they got because I did remember some titles that I had actually forgotten about. So I thought I'd go ahead and take time to show you what I picked up. I'm um, in just random order. I've got the first one here. It happened one night. Um, I've been wanting to get this one for a very long time. I had actually forgotten about this title until I saw it on the shelf. So really happy that I finally was able to pull the trigger on this one and get this one added to the collection. The next one I picked up is The Worst Person in the World. Not really sure what to think about this one. Um, I've heard mixed reviews. I haven't really listened to anybody talk about the film because I do like to be surprised about the plot and everything. Um, but I definitely want to check this one out. They say that you'll either love it or hate it. So hopefully I love it. Another one I picked up was a last minute choice and that is Rat Catcher. Um, this is one that I've been wanting to get for a while. Um, I did watch the trailer for this one this morning before I went out shopping to see, you know, kind of get ideas of what I wanted to find. And I thought if I find this one at the store, I was going to go ahead and pick that one up. Um, another one that I got um, is Brazil. I think Convicted Cinephile had mentioned something about this particular film. I believe that was who, who had mentioned it or recommended it. Um, it looked like it would be pretty good. It's from 1985. I did watch the trailer for this one also. It looks very interesting. So hopefully I'll like that one. Okay, the next one that I got is Picnic at Hanging Rock. Um, this one's been on my watch list for a while. I never did pick it up. Um, I saw it on the shelf, so I thought I'd go ahead and get it now. I know that they had a previous release with a nice little box set type packaging. 
um, but of course those are long out of print so I went ahead and added this one to the collection not very familiar with it um, but it looks like it would be a pretty good film to, to catch up on okay the next one is um, a recent release I do believe and that is for Love Jones I'm not very familiar with this one either I did read the back of this it looks like it'd be a very interesting story so I picked this one up I really do like the artwork on this one Okay, the next ones that I picked up are all the 4K releases, which I believe are all new releases. I did get Double Indemnity. Never seen this film before. Of course, everybody is talking about it. Um, so I definitely wanted to add this one to the collection. Very happy to have this film in the collection. I do love older black and white films, and to have it in 4K is going to be really great to be able to watch that one. Okay, the next one I got, of course, was Shaft. I'm very excited to have this one added to the collection. Um, I do have the Warner Archives release that have all three Shaft movies on it. Um, but when I found out that this one right here actually had um, Shaft's big score included with it, that was even a bigger bonus for me. So I picked this one up. I love the artwork on this one. I'm definitely looking forward to checking that one out. The next one I picked up is the Red Shoes. Not very familiar with this one. Everybody was raving about it online. So I decided I would pick this one up, especially since it was the 4K release from 1948. Um, there's a follow-up film that's similar to this. I believe I heard on someone else's channel that I might need to pick up sometime. But The Red Shoes, looking forward to checking that one out. And then the last title I got is a film that I have watched before. I believe, I want to say I watched it on Netflix way back a few years ago and that's Okja not really sure if I remember the film very much I can't really remember it very much but this is a Bong Joon-ho film and I wanted to go ahead and add this one to the collection hopefully it's one that I will remember and be happy that I added it but to be honest with you, I really don't remember it very well. But it is a 4K release. I do hope to add all of the Criterion 4K releases to the collection. So these are the 10 titles that I decided to pick up for this round. Very happy that I was able to add these to the collection. I do plan on making another trip to Barnes & Noble before the sale's over. I do have some items already pre-ordered through Amazon. Um, for the releases that haven't came out yet just to ensure that I'm able to pick those up So I'll definitely show those titles when I get them But please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about these particular titles Maybe give me a suggestion of some of these titles that you'd like me to watch first And also give me some other suggestions of um, some titles that I should check out or maybe even purchase I really do enjoy reading your recommendations and I really do appreciate your comments If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video if you haven't subscribed to my channel i really appreciate it if you'd subscribe if you do subscribe please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time i upload a new video if you haven't found me on my social media accounts i'm on instagram tiktok and on twitter and if you'd like to find out what i've been watching you can find me over on letterboxd i do have links below but thanks again for watching and we will see you next time